Beat Fellas. Beat Fellas. Beat Fellas. Beat Fellas. Thank you for tuning in to 808 and Sauce, man. And we dripping. We live, man. You see us, you know, dripping in that new exclusive drips. You know, shout out to the boys, you know, over there in the Drix campaign, getting, getting us right, you know. I'm Stony Stone, you already know. Got my boy Diego, aka 10 of 4 with me. And, you know, this is episode two. What we gonna talk about today? You know, the first thing that I had on my mind today was pretty much, you know, what would you do if the world was to end? What, is, what would you do if the world ended tomorrow? What would you do? What scenarios of how the world could end just in all different types of scenarios? What would you do? The White House. I just want to move in. I want to move in. That's cool. Well, we got a video <laughs> that we're going to show that's going to show some different ways the world could end. We got a video? Yeah, yeah, we got a video tonight. We're going to do a little different, you know what I mean? So let's get it into it. Our producer's going to get us right. Let's, let's run it. But after I work in the White House, I'll tell you later. <laughs> People need to take this possibility more seriously. Well, the Alien universe the vast, mysterious place. Alien life could be out there. With the chance of other life in the universe, it's possible that the conditions on their planet got so over polluted or destroyed by a super volcano like we mentioned on this nah. list that they need to start life somewhere else with similar nah. conditions to their home planet. I've never seen it. Exactly never. Never. I always wanted to see one, but where, where, where they at? I, you know what? I've been waiting on aliens since I was a kid when I first seen Mars Attack. Right. Where is the aliens? Oh, and then you know, already know I've been feeling feeling like it's going to be a robot attack. You know, and then we done seen all the signs. I, I robot the movie. You got iPhones, iTunes. I already got the robot. Uh, they already got the iRobot little vacuum. They be transforming. Yeah. <laughs> Right, we need Optimus Prime and Shia LaBeouf to come save the day. Where they at when you, when you need them? Shia LaBeouf! Where you at, Optimus? Tyrese, where you at? Shia LaBeouf got fired, by the way. He did. Mark Wahlberg, we need you to pop up with some Wahlburgers. Mark, where are you? Some Wahlburgers. <laughs> burgers. Bring them good ass burgers. Oh, number three. What's number three? Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. you know, people, we do go a little crazy. Sometimes, I mean, yeah, I feel, I was already crazy. yeah, I feel psychotic sometimes, you know, I feel crazy, you know, I, I, the landlord make me crazy, bills make me crazy, uh, pizza hut make me crazy when they get my, my order wrong, you know, just Wendy's, keeping it real. Wendy's make me Wendy's. crazy when they don't put no goddamn barbecue sauce in my bag. Bitch, I asked for barbecue sauce. What my barbecue sauce said? And they give you sweeties out. You get paid eight dollars. You better throw my goddamn barbecue sauce in that goddamn bag. <laughs> Global warming. I don't believe in no damn. Yeah, sauce. I don't really get it. That's it's why Al Gore didn't win the Global presidency. Warmer. He lost the baby Bush because he was talking about global warming right. and shit. Right. And all kinds of dumb shit. I don't even know what the fuck that is, really. Yeah, I, I'm not really into the old global warming. Thing. I might need to do some research on that. That polar bear, though, he on that yeah. ice, chilling. You know, but, but, <laughs> hey, I guess global warming is why they call it hot lava. Right. Hey. Who knows? Ecosystem collapse is number one. I mean, you know, you, we do, do do a lot of bad things to ecosystem. You see all the burn of the fossil fuels. So and, thing, and, and I, no trees. I don't support and, all trees being burned. Yeah. But you know what trees I support being burned. Straight like that. But you know it. I don't, I, I don't think we were harming the ecosystem by burning trees. No, but not the trees, but all the pollution that they're doing. The pollution. The plants they're talking about that pollution, but we ain't in charge of no pollution. Yeah. When have you ever polluted at all. other than a cigarette? Maybe. But. To, to think about it though, in that kind of situation, you know, what would you do if the world ended in that kind of a situation? I'll probably go steal me a coffee call out or something, get me an old big Jeep Wrangler or something that I could drive everywhere. Get my crew, we're gonna be sticked up. Got the crew. And we definitely finna go get some Twinkies. Oh, the Twinkies! Definitely gonna go get some Twinkies. Uh, we hitting Six Flags up on the day. <laughs> Free ride, 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 rides. Free rides. I think what I would do in the end of the world, uh, I probably would be on some Walking Dead 
type scenario. That's how I always I envision, you know, the end of the world. Like, I, I mean, maybe it might end in zombies. I kind of thought the world would end in nuclear war, you know? So if, if it was the end of the world for me, I'm going to be like Rick in Walking Dead. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go yeah. and watch the show. Go and, and you'll see what I mean. Now with the savage up. like that. Uh, beast mode. If you know Marshawn Lynch, Marshawn you know what I mean. Beast. beast mode. Straight like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm just about that action, bro. I remember you said something about Hot Leather not too long ago. And, you know, I, seeing that we in Atlanta, you know, the city of Atlanta, you know, we got to talk about this this terrible Atlanta traffic and the, and the things that's been going on with I-85, man. What? How did this all just happen? They say they say it was some, some drug addicts or something underneath First the bridge. First of all, I love Dukes of Hazard, by the way. <laughs> I love Dukes of Hazard. That is one of my favorite Oh, movies. man. <laughs> and, uh, hey, and when you she, do... When that happened, when, when she tell you to pull up, you do be on your way. <laughs> you like Batman, hey. that mother. Just the good old boy. Hey. <laughs> no, 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 I was wondering if the Avengers and the X-Men were fighting, and All that's right. what happened. Because you with, see with what happened on I-20. They said it was a chemicals, but I don't know. I-20 buckled. It just came up. They said it was terrorists or something. The terrorists. The terrorists. Bear Light and that came back from the dead. It was the terrorists. And you know, the, the terrorists. In Atlanta? The terrorists. I just don't believe that. I sound like George Bush. The terrorists. Terrorists. The terrorists. The terrorists. The terrorists. Take over terrorists. the territory. Chemicals, all kind of, all kind of mass violence. destruction, weapons and, of mass and destruction. Now the traffic is, is just, it's just terrible. The, what, the traffic is a weapon of mass destruction. Right, the traffic in Atlanta is definitely a weapon of mass destruction. You done been sitting in traffic for eight hours, Jack. You done clocked in a whole shift in traffic. I'm dead. I'm in dead. Atlanta. I'm dead. It's terrible. I'm dead. I love Deuce and Hazard, by the way. Let's move on in the show, man. I, I, that's what Atlanta tried to make me feel like. I just want to move on from that. You know, uh, what's been going on with Kevin Durant and these cupcakes? I man, mean, first of all, man. okay, she tried Kevin Durant. Now, I feel where they coming from because that was a little bitch-ass move that he did by going to Golden State. You know what I'm saying? I mean... So if you a cupcake, you a cupcake. He's a cupcake. So basically, that's a cupcake. They they got a mascot, and and it's a cupcake, and they got his number, number thirty five, <laughs> number thirty five on the on the cupcake. It got sprinkles on it, all kinds of shit. It got good ass icing. <laughs> it's made of vanilla. You know, vanilla. It reminds me of that mix. It reminds me of that Dave Chappelle episode. You know, vanilla cake mix. <laughs> some blue you remember when Dave sprinkles? Chappelle had the pancakes? <laughs> some pancakes. <laughs> I'm about to make some pancakes. <laughs> oh some man, pancakes. he whipping up pancakes on OKC because he's still in the playoffs right now. Well, pancakes, the joke is actually cupcakes, on OKC. Uh, because crumb cakes. KD, he get to eat the cupcakes while y'all go home and uh, watch him eat the cupcakes. So he teamed up with other people mascot and he basically hey. just shitted on your whole campaign. Whatever you know, you're talking to, you was to express honest, by doing the cupcake. That was a girl in that cupcake was, outfit, by the way. You know what I'm saying? Was, That's a major insult. Scrumptious. You don't put my, you don't put my freaking number, my number 35 on a freaking cupcake. So that's how I get back at you by taking a picture with cupcakes. Like, look here, look here, what we got here? We got us some cupcakes. And Russell Westbrook, you at home? I love you, Russell, by the way. Great but, uh, season. Great got season. you with that one. I got to say. Season. Since we're already on this basketball subject, Kevin Durant and, you know, these Warriors, you know, I'm, I'm, we're going to get into a little bit of a few predictions here. And, I'm, and, and my prediction this year is I'm going to just go straight to the NBA Finals because I already know it's going to be a rematch. Golden State Warriors and the Cleveland Cavaliers. And it's going to go seven games. I'm pretty positive seven on games, that. You sure? I'm definitely I'm positive. I'm worried that the Cavaliers will get defeated in six games. I don't think when, when you come, when you're talking about the King, we're talking about King James here. King James, LeBron James, they did it last year. We are not worthy this year. 
I don't think Kevin Durant and, and the Golden State Warriors is gonna be able to to withstand this Cleveland Cavaliers. I'm just bench. hoping that the King gonna have enough in the tank. Him and his troops. I'm hoping they gonna have enough in the tank to be able to take down the Warriors. This is going we we gonna need another Cleveland miracle. Yeah, yeah, we do. We need another three one miracle. Yeah, we do. We need LeBron. If you believe in baby Kyrie. Jesus, baby Jesus, Kyrie, please. I need you to untuck your jersey, Kyrie. Untuck the jersey. All seven games, your jersey need to be untucked. If I'm I talking. catch you with your jersey tuck, I'm coming to see you after the game. I'm gonna take your jersey like they did Tom Brady jersey. That's on a more aggressive note. Don't tuck your jersey in Kyrie, please. You don't, don't, please Mr. don't. Mr. Flat Earther. Uh, let's get into a little bit of a. Uh, Promotional subject, uh, more matter than we can get into. Let's get into. We want y'all to check out, you know, beatfellas.com. You know, check out and support the music. We got some new things going out. We also been working on uh, some new music. You do see that we do got joint people coming out on May 19th, but we also been working on something else, a little something special, special that's coming up. So be on the lookout for that. You know, we always like to throw out the new things that we got going on. If you click on the music tab on our website, you can check out the new beat section and you can hear all the new, you know, instrumentals that we drop weekly or whenever we do release. We always got new beats coming out, always. Don't be afraid to, you know, show love and support to the new beats, even if you're not willing to purchase nothing at that moment, you know what I'm saying? Just always take a listen. We always got beat sales going on, 50% off, 25% off, anything, you know what I mean? Even if you're not willing to purchase at that point, I say, hit us up. You never know, we might can do business if we like business, if what you're talking, what you're spitting. Also, you see us rocking the Drix clothing. Check out the Drix. Go to www.drix.com. Drixclothing.com to be exact. And you know, you can get service just as this one that I got on myself or the one that my man Diego got on right here. The one that you will see other people that uh, special guests on our show will also be rocking Drix because you know, we want everybody to be supporting the movement. Make sure you like us on Facebook as well. That's right. You can visit Beat Fellas on Facebook. Just type in B E T A Fellas. You can also go check us out on our what YouTube channel, uh, YouTube slash Beat Fellas. You can check us out. Uh, go hit us up on our Twitter accounts as well. Uh, you can go look up our new music on BeatFellas.com as well as TapeSauce.com. And make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Yes. But. Before we end the show today, I want to make sure I get in the small business tip. You know, it's very important to me because you guys ask for value and I want to give you some value for your time. Usually I, I would tell you like a certain company to go through to, you know, as a tip. But today I want to just give some good advice. And the good advice is we all have big goals that we want to accomplish. You, know, you have that big dream. Big you know, dream. you see it. You see the vision. What I want you to do to be to help you accomplish those big goals is try to figure out what are the small things that build up to that big dream. Big dream. You know, break it down. Break down that big dream into smaller goals, accomplishable goals, accomplishable goals, and. Once you're able to do that, then you're able to accomplish the small goals, check those off, and after you get all your small goals checked off, it will eventually equal up to accomplishing that big goal, or it could get you right where you need to be in order to accomplish that big goal. So sometimes we kind of overthink it. Anything you're trying to do, break it down and make sure that you're breaking it down as small as possible and delegating the things that you need to delegate mm -hmm. and take care of the things that you can take care of. Make sure that you are utilizing dry eraser boards. Get you a dry eraser board, one or two of them from Walmart, and write your ideas, write your goals on these dry eraser boards, and make sure you check them off as you're completing them to show that you are making progression. And the more and more you get in the habit of writing down your goals and checking them off, you'll be able to show yourself that you are accomplishing the things that you're trying to accomplish. Those small goals can't add up to the big goal. So that's my business tip of the day. And I want to thank you guys for viewing. 
Definitely. Tune in. Thank you for checking out the show. Uh, hopefully, y'all will check this out again next time. Make sure you go check out BeatFellas.com, uh, DricksClothing.com, TapeSauce.com. Uh, go check out the uh, Wear Stoney on Apple Music. Be on the lookout for Joy Pippen coming out on May 19th. Thank y'all for watching. The Beat Fellas. The Beat Fellas.